British museums also banned Purdue Pharma from making donations. Mortimer Sackler, the owner of Purdue Pharma, once served as a board member for the Guggenheim. The Guggenheim says the last time he donated to the museum was in 2015. Happening today, protesters will rally against congestion, congestion pricing on Manhattan's east side. The advocates are calling on lawmakers to reject the proposal in the upcoming state budget. They say congestion pricing is a tax on New York's middle class and that it's not fair. Mayor de Blasio and Governor Cuomo both support the measure, which would create a toll for drivers in parts of Manhattan. The money would help to fund the embattled subway system. A brazen honey heist in central Pennsylvania. That's right. <laughs> As beekeepers at Susquehanna University on edge. Cute story of the day here. Right now, the beekeeper's prime suspect. Yeah, that guy right there, Black Bear. A school sketch artist actually released that picture of this believed to be criminal in hopes of catching him before he strikes again. Beekeepers say the bear damaged some hives and actually killed a large number of bees. Now they're concerned about honey production for the coming spring. One of the hives was knocked over but stayed pretty much intact. And the third hive was knocked over and some of the frames with honey on it was clearly taken out and eaten. The Pennsylvania Commission is setting up a sting operation to nab the suspect. They left this bear trap to catch the predator. Authorities plan on releasing him to a more remote location if they do indeed nab him. The annual Macy's Flower Show takes off today. Macy's Herald Square flagship is filled with wall-to-wall -wall flowers every year for spring. This is the 70th year of the tradition. This year's theme is Journey to Paradisios, a fictional alien planet. The store is filled with 2 million flowers and 5,000 different types of plants, so you might want to eat some honey. <laughs> the show runs through April 7th. Certainly locally sourced honey will help you with allergies. <laughs> or you can just take a pill. Exactly. Whatever works. <laughs> Whatever works. Lots of flowers may bloom in this kind of weather we got going on today, right? Oh, it's right? beautiful. We right. need all the ingredients. We need sunshine. We need a little rain. We got the rain, uh, of course, uh, late last week. And then we're going to see temperatures today in the 60s. It's going to be nice. Game well, on. Really upper 50s to 60 degrees. Don't want to oversell it because we have mid-60s coming up late in the Acura, the seven-day forecast. But hey, now. sunshine is out there and the warm-up is underway with the southwest wind trying to turn our way. And that helps with the temperatures. So we go from starting in the 30s with a little bit of a wind chill this morning, making it feel like the 20s and right at the freezing point to beautiful skies right here, where we can see the Empire State Building and One World Trade to 41 degrees on the thermometer, which feels nice, right? Uh, we will continue to see our temperatures going as much as 10 degrees above the average for this time of year. It's around 50 degrees. So right now in the boroughs, temperatures in the low 40s for Staten Island, Sheepshead Bay, Bayside, Woodhaven's up to 42. But we see these temperatures here make a rapid climb into the 50s. Through the afternoon, we'll be pushing the upper 50s to near 60. I think we hit it by around 3 or 4 o'clock. Some clouds will start to collect, though. We'll have sunshine and then those increases increasing clouds throughout the day. Winds are subsiding right now, so the chill is gone. Noticeably mild for the afternoon. You may want to layer up here early if you're getting out the door, but you might be able to shed some of those under the sunshine here mid-afternoon. Gorgeous shot of the sun shining over Midtown and into lower Manhattan. 31% uh, humidity and pressure is on the rise. No storms around here. In fact, we're dry for the next couple of days. You'll notice the southwest wind, the arrow showing that it's coming from that direction, and that's what brings the drier air in. Now, as far as the next seven hours go, look at the clouds coming in for the mid to late afternoon, but also our temperatures continuing to push towards the upper 50s. So we get to where we want to be late this afternoon. South facing shores, you may say a little cooler than ever everyone else and then we've got the inland temperatures probably being the warmest for parts of central and south jersey now tomorrow morning we wake up with clouds temperatures on, on the cool side it's a chilly start to the work week but temperatures make it into the low 50s tomorrow afternoon and we get sun break so it's going to be a nice day to eat your lunch outside or enjoy the late afternoon uh, of course little leagues are going to be starting up here pretty soon too and we actually have a pretty dry week so if this is your week to get going even though temperatures do cool down on tuesday and wednesday the skies remain dry Wellness forecast for your air quality is good today. UV index is at a five. Pollen counts moderate to high with maple and juniper being the main concern. So the numbers from AccuWeather 60 today. Mix of sun and clouds. And then tonight going down to about 45. It's mild overnight. There's a possibility of an isolated brief early morning shower. And then we have the afternoon.
afternoon sun breaks and 52 for the high. The AccuWeather seven day forecast, we're back to the 40s on Tuesday and Wednesday. Those are below average temperatures, but they also are very sunny days. 54 on Thursday, sunny and nice that day as well. Friday, we'll look at sunny and mild 63 and Saturday 65. Not bad, a warming trend coming late next week. Oh, all right. Do you know my rule? You know my rule for spring. It's not really spring until it's 60s across the board as the high. Then to me, right. so we're getting there. Yes. Is there, you have a prediction for roughly when that may be? I assume August? May. <laughs> May. May, okay. I mean, it can happen in April, but to be solid, warmth... Not a raw, rainy 60-degree right. day, but a warm 60s That's what we want. Stretch. Yeah, we don't want the... Okay, April. No, we don't want to have rain right. boots on in the 60 degrees. Yeah. No, exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. May. May. Oh, gearing up for the season, the Yankees play their home spring training game. And the pinstripes get their first look at their newest arm on the mound. How did it go? Highlights coming up after the break. Deep left field.